What's going on, everyone? Right now, I am on my way to this salvage yard, junk yard, you know, however you want to actually call it. But um, it's uh, the name of the actual yard is Brandywine. Uh, you pick, you pull. So I was going to take the Lexus IS250, but I don't know. It's just something about driving this truck that I just, I just can't let go of. So it is a one hour and roughly 25 minute drive. We're going to cruise our way to a location and, uh, I will see you guys later. Spotted a tundra. Look at that. Nothing ever stays the same. Real quick. But uh yeah, it looks like we're gonna run into some uh some traffic. But uh, you know, it's expected. I Me, mean, I'm not really driving in a rush. Just cruising, baby. Right, let's go ahead and ride with the tundra that's a trd for a fact because uh well i didn't look at the side of the truck but i can see the uh dual exhaust and it's perfectly uh perfectly set up on that truck so it basically tells me that that's oem uh configuration but uh yeah guys let me get to it baby so we got roughly roughly uh Say about 30 more minutes left and I'll travel. And we'll be at the destination. It's a beautiful day. Alright guys, I'll chit chat with you later. Uh, it's just about up the street and we will be at our destination. Because people love to do that. People love to be on your blind spot right there. This is Brandon Wine Auto Parts. This is it. We are officially here. Now we just need to make ourselves comfortable and find a parking spot. I bet there's another Tundra. Okay, okay. There's another Tundra. Okay. All right, cool. So we can park here. We got ourselves a nice spot. Yes, uh, we got ourselves a nice spot. All right. Nice and comfy right here. Uh -huh. Beautiful thing about videos is that you can take a one hour and 15 minute drive. You can turn it to a two minute drive, five minute drive, you know what I'm saying? Like for you guys, your travel distance to, to get to the destination I'm going to is like that. It's just instantly, you guys are already there. But for me, it took me a minute to get here. And I mean, I was just cruising. I was just like, ah, ooh, this is beautiful. But uh, yeah, guys, I'm gonna uh, take you guys on in here to see the lot. We're gonna see if we can find a Lexus IS250. I'm also going to look at the web uh, browser real quick and see if I can locate a Tundra. I think it is the Tundra up here, but I believe it's the previous year before this year. Uh, this is 2017. One thing is the fact I should have brought a uh, book bag. Got this freaking <laughs> man bag. Uh, and the lady said that they may not have the Lexus IS250 here, so... She let me uh, go inside without paying the $2 fee, entry fee, uh, because basically I'll be wasting my time. But anyway, you guys will get a video of what they have here, so let's get to it. The road that I'm looking for is road 18, which is straight ahead of me. So we'll take a look. And the trucks, uh, the Tundras, they're in uh, row, I want to say 24, 23, 25, 26. So they should all be along here. But uh, just take a look at this. Vehicles stripped down. I think that vehicle right in front of us is a, uh, is a uh, 
It's got to be like a, a Chevy, Chevy truck, something like that. Then you got the uh, Suburban. It's not a bad frame. Well, actually, let's take that back. Because you can actually see it's been involved. Oh, my goodness. Straight through the windshield. Anybody need a windshield? Come and get it. Come and get it, baby. That's pretty cool. But, uh, yeah, you can see this frame here. You know, from a far distance, I said it was okay, but it's not. So it was definitely involved in the collision. But all right, this is uh, out 18. I see a Lexus. I believe that's a, what, the uh, RX? Ugh, trying to adjust my man bag. Yeah, this joint hurt my, hurt my wrist. So this is definitely, wait, 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 wait. I'm confused now. Is, is that out 18 or is this 18? That says 19. So this must be 18. If not, then it'll be, we'll see, we'll see. Hmm, what was that? This vehicle was straight ripped oh it's a charger 2012 charger jeez goodness gracious but just by that cut that's telling me uh hmm jeez yeah i don't know what it's telling me <laughs> what is it telling me i want to say like the life of jaws may have cut that side or I honestly want to say that somebody cut it. Somebody professionally cut it themselves for another vehicle, which would mean that somebody has a charger with a unibody that has a bad frame. So far, I haven't seen any Lexus IS250. Got a Mercedes. Oh, wait a minute. Nah, that's not it. It's supposed to be like a bluish color. Bluish, greenish. What is this? It says it's a Mustang. It's not it. I don't know. I don't know, guys. I think she's right. I think she's 100% sure that they do not have a uh, Lexus IS250 in this yard. If anybody's in the uh, market for bids, got a bunch of bids. So that looks like it's going off to another number. And I can say for sure, I haven't seen any Lexus IS250 in this area. So let's swing over. Let's see if it's over there. And again, this place is known for truck beds. If you're looking for a truck bed, best believe they got it. So I definitely gonna say I, I don't see it here. It's supposed to be like a bluish green color. Yep, definitely don't see it. So looks like their website, they don't really keep it updated. But then again, I wanna say this Lexus IS250 said that it was uh, uploaded on the website. 20, 2020 or 2019. I, th I think 2020. No, I think the, the Tundra was 2020 when it was uploaded on the website. And I think the Lexus was 2019. So more, more than likely it's, it's gone. I don't see it here neither. I wanted the warehouses where they basically take the vehicle, inventory it, 
look at everything uh identify some like key hot items that uh will definitely be on the market uh, they'll remove those parts from that vehicle and they'll upload it to their website walk on down here and see if i can find a tundra and uh we'll go from there what's that Uh, O-A-A? Yeah. That's the location to give me right there. I know it go by Rose, but I ain't never known it to go by that right there. Yeah. Yeah. And what vehicle is it? Oh, for Marquis. I mean, Grand, Grand Marquis. Yeah, I would say best shot is just to, just to go down there because uh, row eight is down there. So I would just, just start from there. Yeah, okay. Every now and then you, you get the people like, hey, man, you, you know your way around here? <laughs> and I'd be like, all right, let me try to figure out how I can help you. Because <laughs> you can get lost up in here. But uh, this road is supposed to have one Tundra. Uh, it's supposed to be a, uh, a big boy. A big boy. Like a Tundra that's used for uh, work. But, uh. Highly doubt that it's here. Cause after they're done with vehicles, they basically uh remove them from the lot and make some more money off the frame. Ah, oh, look at that. Wagner. Ooh Lord, it's got some rust. Jeez. And again. Dude, I'm, I keep seeing these left side of the uh, vehicles just trimmed. Oh, that one's, that right side is also trimmed. But yeah, who is this? Hmm. Yeah, somebody, uh, somebody cut that section. Got some rust down there. Definitely took the engine. Engine, transmission, wire harness, hood. <laughs> you know, you gotta get it when you can get it, baby. So I don't blame him. It's not like you wanna find many junkyards with a Jeep like that. I honestly believe that we're not gonna find the Tundra. However, it was definitely worth getting out of here, out the house. To, you know, get some mileage on our shoes. But look at this bad boy right here. Golly. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Anybody looking for a project? Here you go. Here you go. Oh, my goodness. Oh, wow. Yeah, this is gonna be a, uh, this is gonna be a fun one to work on. But I guarantee you, something like this, for the right person, it will run. It's gonna be a pain to restore something like this, golly. Which is the reason why it's probably here. But just look at the interior, like just a Like, come on now, this is, and it's just the detail in here. Like in its prom, this thing was just, this thing was wonderful. Um, if I'm not mistaken, my grandfather, he had one. He had one of these bad boys. And this was his love. But his was like a, uh, if I'm not mistaken, I think his was like a brown, like a tan color. Just look at this thing, man. Yeah, recliner? Come on, bro. 
This thing is sweet. I mean, not right now, but before. Golly. This thing was, you could tell the, the you could tell the carpet before. Ooh, let me back away, it's kind of getting dusty. But you could tell before the carpet was uh, nice and comfortable. Nice and comfortable. Yes, sir. It's an interesting find. Right now we're at row 25. We're supposed to be at row 26, but I, I don't see it. I don't see row 26. It might be in a mixture uh, around here somewhere. I see a Acura Integra here. Which is kind of me. It's, it's like it's kind of telling me to see, you know, an Acura Integra. Hey, and their trucks is basically telling me that stuff may have got shifted around and the website may not have been updated, but yet Brandywine is supposed to be one of those locations, junkyard locations where they keep stuff updated. So, you know, like if they put something somewhere, that's where it's, it's going to be. If you don't see it, then that means the vehicle's gone. So looks like this uh, Acura Integra got into a doozy. Jeez. I mean, somebody, somebody came here and completely stripped this bad boy. They definitely came here and stripped it. It's no sense of popping the hood because if you can kind of see, you can see some light. This is basically telling us that uh, there's no motor in here. What was this, an LS? Uh, it's been debadged, so we can't really tell. Is that the dash right there? Hmm. I wonder. Is this the dash? I really don't remember what the uh, Integra looked like, but I think this might be the dash. You guys let me know if this is the uh, Acura Integra dash. Which I somewhat want to say it is. And I want to say somebody probably removed it for the heater core. 95 Integra. There's pretty much nothing inside here. Nothing. So, let's keep it moving, baby. Mobile vans. What is that? What do they do? Oh, heating and air conditioning. More vans, got some trucks, some semi-trucks. Oh, got a Dodge Ram down there. I don't see any tundras. bunch of mosquitoes over there mm -hmm. uh, that's a uh, uh, United States Postal Service vehicle right here okay okay I'll, I'll step back I'll step back I got a little warning from some type of bug this is like, nah, this is not your territory, young man. We keep it moving. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. We're gonna keep it moving, baby. I want no problems. No problems in this yard. No, sir, no, sir. Ooh, what is this? This might have to be the thumbnail right now. Oh my goodness, what is that? Oh, I got some more mail trucks. Yeah, this is gonna be the thumbnail. Hold on, guys. Thumbnail. For you car guys, I need you to tell me exactly what am I looking at. What am I looking at? Okay. Rust bucket, but God. 
Just imagine in its prime. Ah, oh, this was a wonderful vehicle. Absolutely wonderful vehicle. As well as this too. And it looks like somebody definitely took some parts off of it. You know, it's for sale guys. Don't let the rust get you. Trust me, it's an absolutely beautiful vehicle that you can own today, especially this one. Just look at the seats, you can restore this. This is restorable. This is definitely restorable. It is definitely restorable. Still got the back glass. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Wow. Yeah, it's just a little rust, you know, we call it a little surface rust, but uh, for the most part, it's fixable, you know. And this one, you know, it doesn't have a uh, trunk, but, you know, that's less weight, so more horsepower. Man, this thing right here. Jeez. Got a blower. Wow, this is crazy. What? What would? Uh, I don't even know what would. What? what <laughs> I'm trying to think. Like what? What happened? I don't know. But one thing I'm not trying to walk into is a snake hole or a, a, a wasp nest definitely don't want to do that so i'm gonna uh, make my way back to safety guys here's another ram i don't see any tundra i do not see any tundras and that was lot 25 we were supposed to be looking for lot 26. however i don't see any tundras None. So, I'm gonna keep walking down, and uh, I'm about to get ready. Call it a day. Call it a day and go home. So, I will let you guys know if I see anything super cool after this but uh for the most part typically whenever you get a lexus or a toyota vehicle especially a nice reliable one oh it's it's gonna be gone it's gonna be gone in a heartbeat but uh yeah the civic hatchback man golly they took they took the top off you know they turned this joint to a convertible I'm pretty sure that a lot of people have seen these things, but these are uh, pretty much like your hoist. Uh, you can use them to uh, lift up the vehicle, work underneath the vehicle, as well as uh, retrieve like engine transmission from. So, pretty cool. Nice F-150. Just for something like, you know, to restore and just ride it clean, you know. That's honestly what the uh, old trucks are worth. Fix them up and ride them clean, baby. But uh, yeah, I still don't see, don't see any tundra here. No tundra, no Lexus, nothing. What that basically tells us, guys, is that if you have a tundra, no matter what year. If you have a Lexus IS, no matter what year, you need to keep it, okay? You need to keep it because it is valuable and it's hard to find parts at the junkyard farm. I absolutely love this yard. It's different from uh, Crazy Rays, which is uh, also known as uh, LKQ. And the reason being is because they have 
such a uh, different selection of vehicles like this. You wouldn't find this vehicle at Crazy Rays. You know? You would not find this vehicle at Crazy Rays. I can tell you that for a fact. It's manual. Interior wise, it's still pretty darn good. I mean, even though it probably rained on it, but still, um, with it being so open like this, it'll dry out. So all you have to do is just get it like a uh, some sort of carpet cleaner. You can just clean those seats out. It'll be good as new. Engine's gone. Yeah, it's definitely an uh, accident. You can see engine, transmission, drive shaft, all that good stuff. Gone. Look at this bad boy here. See vehicles like this, I'm like, come on, people. Like, why just let it go? Like, somebody got the engine. Pretty sure they got the transmission. But stuff like this, if you got vehicles that are just sitting around in your yard, like, come on. Just post it on, on Facebook Market for $50 or $100 something like that so that way somebody can at least you know pick up where you left off just just put it like you know vehicle doesn't run this whole thing is fiberglass wow but yeah just put it put it online for something dirt cheap and just be like look vehicles for sale dirt cheap it's got some issues with it. Doesn't run, doesn't drive. Not interested in, uh, you know, negotiating. 50 or or $100 as is. And that's it. Somebody say, hey, does it run, does it drive? Nope. I'm just basically giving it away. You're just paying me 50 to $100 just so that way we can meet up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But yeah, something like this. It may not be worth much to people, but stuff like that, it will build memories if somebody works on it. Like with their son, daughter, you know, their loved one to, to, to work on a vehicle together. Trust me, that's that's those memories. Those memories will last. It doesn't matter how much that vehicle is worth, if it's a piece of junk or not. And trust and believe me, when they get older, they're going to absolutely love and appreciate the time that you spent working on that vehicle. We got an MR2 right here. Yes, sir. It looks like the motor's already got pulled. Yeah, the motor definitely got pulled. Everything inside got pulled. Yeah, we still got... Uh, mosquitoes up in there so uh best believe at night this place is bumping with mosquitoes yeah i definitely wouldn't want to be walking around this yard at night mm -mm. no sir habitat for destruction <laughs> for real beautiful ford right there man i, I absolutely love those body styles those old body styles. Love them, man. My uncle, he had one, man. He had one of these bad boys. Yes, sir. Wait a minute. 2526. This is 26. Why the heck is 25 all the way down there? Wow. All right, we got to walk here. We got to walk this. Oh, wait. I see SRS. That was the tundra right there. Finally found the area for tundras, but it's not the tundra I'm looking for. However, it is a tundra. This is 26. The so 25 was far away. And 26 is basically close by. But yeah, this this is an older, much older. You can see the engine, it's already gone. Much older tundra. Doesn't really have anything in the bed for me. 
no tie downs, no straps, nothing of that nature. Pretty good rear bumper though. If somebody's trying to do some sort of conversion kit, we got some flies up in there. Jeez, man. Good lord. This tundra, they must have been going off road. And, uh, yeah, they had to, because look at that dirt. They must have been driving off road, but jeez. Ooh, these daggone flies trying to mate and trying to knock my head off too how you gonna try to how's the fly gonna try to mate and knock my head off like come on bro oh biohazard i don't know that might be true that might be true i'm staying away from that wow wow i don't know it looks like the engine is gone i have to look back at the footage Jeez. Yeah, it, it has biohazard uh, everywhere on this vehicle. So, uh, I just seen this. What is this, an H3? This thing is so small. Golly. This thing is small. My goodness. Just look at this. This is so small. This th the inside is smaller than my Land Cruiser. Wow. This thing is super small. That's crazy. How is it going to be this small and be such a crazy guz gas guzzler? I don't understand. It doesn't make sense. It does not make any sense, guys. And it got a lot of uh, a lot of Fords, lots of Fords, most definitely lots of Fords. Uh, here it goes. Ah, finally, we found it. This is the Tundra. Yes, sir. The long bed, baby. Wait, is that a long bed? Was that a five? That looks about 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 a long bed. Yeah, it don't look like a short bed. Look like a long bed. But yeah, this is the Tundra here, and as you see, man, the weather. Weather took over this interior. Golly. Weather straight up took over this interior. Actually, this Tundra had a fire inside. That's right. Yeah, look at that. You see? This Tundra had a fire inside. I remember seeing the pictures and you can look at them right there. So, that was kind of an interesting situation. Engine, transmission, drive shaft, all that is gone. Gone. We got a, uh, what is this? I don't know. Uh, GPS. Oh, interesting. Okay. Yeah, had a little technology package going on. Yes, sir. But definitely some damage. All right, here. Suspension, all that's gone. And this is definitely the limited edition. So, yeah, there's absolutely nothing here for us. Oh, yeah, tail lights gone. Okay, so they do have, I'm about to walk into a spider web, but they do have, uh, these uh big strap down hooks so that's actually pretty cool uh am i gonna get it no i already got four as it is so it would be dirt cheap though and it would be like a souvenir for me actually coming down here but uh yeah i'm not gonna get it mm -mm. no sir no siree I'm good. I am good. So it definitely looks like that, uh, I guess during a fire or something that somebody threw some stuff. This is a, uh, a boot that somebody threw back here. And there's another part of the boot. 
and some other stuff. It definitely was a nice uh, truck. I'll tell you that for a fact. It's definitely a nice truck. But yep, I don't see anything else down here, guys. So I'm gonna make my way back, back up front. Suburban, big old suburban, man. LTZ, straight strip. <laughs> that suburban was strip. Engine, transmission, drive shaft, everything is all gone. Got some interior parts to them. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So I would definitely say this is definitely a perfect place if you're trying to find American parts. But far as like imports, when they're here, they're gone. Especially when it's a uh, Lexus or a Toyota vehicle. This is a nice color though. I like this. Again, engine's gone. This is one of their outside bays for removing parts. And they also have an area where they actually do maintenance on vehicles. This is one of their yards for parts. As you can hear. They rocking and rolling over there. That's a nice trailer right there. Huh. But I highly doubt that trailer's for sale. Yeah, highly doubt it. Wheels. Another trailer right here. Which I highly doubt is for sale. Oh, they got a little, like a little chair on there. So that might be a uh, trailer for people to ride on. It's like a family tree, part of you and part of me. And if we should separate, do you go away? I won't wait. right there so that way it doesn't inch up in uh underneath the driver's seat but i gotta clean this truck out my kids got this thing they got this thing looking gorgeous right now that's what i'm gonna say my kids got my truck looking gorgeous with all this this dirt and stuff man this joint looks so daggone good mm -hmm. start her up Alright guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. We got more videos on the way. And to my day one subscribers, I appreciate you. To my new subscribers, I love you guys. Peace.